um, you know, a view from Professor Ben Sihanya. He's a professor of constitutional law and was instrumental in uh, the BBI process and, uh, uh, you know, putting together the bill, the Constitution Amendment Bill 2020. Um, he joins me on phone now. Professor, good evening. Um, thank you for making time for us. So what's your initial reaction to uh, the judgment that we've just heard today? So thank you so much, uh, Yvonne and viewers. Uh, well, this is one of the best benches. This, there are at least three judges on this bench. Uh, some of the best judges you can find anywhere in Africa. Joy Lungugi, uh, Justice Odunga, who is sometimes called Lord Benning, and uh, Justice Chachamwita. But on this case, they've gotten so many things wrong. Uh, uh, that clearly wrong, at least three areas. One is that uh, they have confused the question of initiative. To initiate a, 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 a reform process is different from the decision making. And there is no uh, provision in the constitution preventing the president or stipulating who the pop people are pop in a popular initiative. So that's so wrong. The main issue is that in a popular initiative, it's a, the referendum. The decision making is in a referendum by the people. So, so much who is initiating. So that, and they spent a lot of time on that and they are wrong. Uh, and I most of us go with Justice Mativo in an earlier decision who said that there is no bar to the president being part of uh, uh, the initiating or uh, initiating a uh, uh, reform agenda. Two, they also uh, were very abstract on so many issues. Uh, too, too, too much theory without providing proper context on, uh, uh, on how the Kozo reform process has been going on in Kenya. If you were, lastly, if we were to follow the decision in uh, the five-judge branch, it means that we can never have any uh, uh, amendment by popular initiative at all. For instance, they talk about uh, 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 the IEBC must have uh, at least five members. That's wrong. The Kozo says at least three. If the statute says five, the statute is the one which is subordinate to the Constitution. And they ought to know that. They talk about signature verification. No, the Constitution doesn't talk about signature verification. It talks about verifying the registered voters. So the, the, this case, they, they, have, they have been reckless. In this case, the judges have been reckless on so many issues. Reckless is the word, reckless. Um, so um, let me ask you specifically to do with um, the constitution of the BBI task force and the subsequent steering committee. Uh, so first of all, the court ruled that they are indeed competent to determine the constitutionality of uh, these two bodies, um, but that they did say that as a member of the executive, uh, the president cannot use 257, which is reserved for private citizens. And I know um, you've just said that there is nothing barring the president from being part of this process. But they fault the fact that um, the executive was perhaps trying to sneak in um, amendments through a route that um, would not be uh, available to them and that if the executive wanted to push this p process through, um, you know, they would go through um, the attorney general. So what's your view on, on that uh, judgment regarding the process, regarding the initiators of the process, tracking it down back to the handshake and the BBI nine point agenda, the formation of the task force, um, that that did not involve uh, the participation of private citizens citizens as per article 257. Again, they are wrong both in terms of uh, the, the way they rendered the factual posture of what was happening and two, they are also wrong in uh, misreading the constitutional and statutory or regulatory requirements that have been followed throughout in the BBI process. One, uh, you will notice that this, as you have said, the process mainly began with the BBI, sorry, with the handshake, the communique and memorandum. And that was a political statement of intent to give Kenya a, a direction which Kenya needed a lot of that at the time because and even now still needs that kind of political direction on where are we going when there was a was or has been a stalemate in this country so you cannot they cannot fault that then two they there is the issue of um, the initiation and the, even the idea of promoters they are silent on the fact that the promoters have been uh, labeled as uh, 
Honorable Waweru and Honorable Junet, and they tend to focus more on the two principles, and especially President Kenyatta, uh, in, a, in a way that suggests that they have some animus, some kind of bad feeling about uh, the president in this regard. So uh, there are a lot of uh, uh, statements that they, they, they have said about that process, which are not borne out by the facts on the, uh, on the ground, nor are they borne out by the constitutional provisions. So the, the, for example, the idea of promoters. Njoya, which was one of the cases that led to the idea of popular initiative, uh, Joya was a case, uh, Joya versus uh, AG, a case of 2004-2005. Uh, he did not say who the people are for purposes of initiating uh, the, the, the process. It just talked about the, who will make the decision and how the processes uh, the, the will be made. And it preferred a referendum or what it's at the, the time called a constituent assembly. So there is no constitutional text indicating that it is X, Y, Z, A, B, C who can initiate this and not X, Y, Z. So that one, they, and they, they are talking from the bench without any authority. They are just talking a lot of, uh, with a lot of, uh, they are looking, saying a lot of things on those issues without clear authority, citing any or specifying any authority for the statements they are making. So they are wrong. All, all right, Pro Professor, I just want to um, take you up on something you've just said, that uh, the judges focused on uh, the president and his handshake counterpart, that's ODM leader, Raila Odinga, and ignored the, propo the promoters of uh, this amendment bill. That would be Jeanette Mohammed and uh, David Waweru. But if we were to take that argument, wouldn't there still be a problem with the fact that an MP would be pushing this through Article 257, which is a popular initiative, rather than a parliamentary um, initiative process governed by Article 256? Uh, two, two, two issues, Yvonne. I, I, one is I started by saying that this court is wrong to in, insist on uh, uh, that that popular initiative means that it is uh, initiated by so and so. The main thing, if we read 255 to 250, 255, 256, 257, the main issue is that the difference between parliamentary initiative mm -hmm. and popular initiative, which is actually as they are misnomers, is the issue not of initiating, but who is making the decision. In the parliamentary, it is parliament making the decision. Not necessarily that parliament is initiating. Which means that that initiative could come from the executive, could come, and it has been acknowledged that parliamentary amendment processes so many times come from the executive. So the idea, actually, it was wrong for the constitution to talk about parliamentary initiative. They should have said parliamentary decision making or something like that, or popular or referendum decision making. That would be better, clearer language. So an MP is a member of the public just like the president is. So there is nothing in 257 to buy an MP or a former MP from initiating, but the, the process must be in a referendum. And that, you know, for me, uh, the constitution is very clear and they have mis mis misapplied articles 131, 132 on presidential powers. The president is actually the main policy driver in, in Kenya. And, uh, Policy, driving policy also includes proposing amendments, and that is consistent with the presidential function to drive amendments. Not that is different from negating the constitution. To drive an amendment or to propose an amendment is not the same as undermining the constitution at all. So that was also another misreading, overreading, and misreading the constitution by this this over enthusiastic uh, five judge bench who are otherwise very good judges, if you ask me.